After being held for seven days under the ISA, Theresa Koch has finally been released. And now that she's out, the outspoken Sapute parliamentarian says she's filing a, flu, a slew of lawsuits against the four parties she blames for her detention. In addition to suing Utusan Malaysia, its writer Zaini Hassan and former Selangor Menteri Besar Datuk Sri Dr. Muhammad Kiyo Toyo for their role in landing her in detention, Cox says she's also bringing the government to court. I see my detention as a ploy by APNO to try to cover up the embarrassment and the outrage of the racist statements made by Ahmad Ismail in Penang. I wonder why did they choose an innocent person like me as I have made, I've never made any racist statements or racist speeches in the past. The MP told reporters at the DAP headquarters in Petaling Jaya she had been repeatedly interrogated over three main issues. Her involvement in the Azan controversy, on her alleged suggestion that the allocation for Jais should be used for other religions and her previous statement opposing to the road signs written in Jawi. The MP said she denied the first two. Kok was arrested for allegedly having incited racial and religious tension and conflict. However, according to Deputy Inspector General of Police Tan Street Ismail Omar, she was released after investigations showed that there was no reason to detain her any further. Firebrand politician Lim Kit Siang was also present at Kok's press conference today. There were mixed feelings for me. On the one hand, I'm very happy that Teresa's trial has ended. On the other hand, this is a further proof. Together with Tan Hun Ching's Sinchu uh, reporters, 18 hour detention, clear cut testimony that, uh, of the abuse of ISA. Because ISA is very, very draconian law.